the dungeon. And this place our forefathers made for man. This is the process of our love and wisdom. To each poor brother who offends against us. Most innocent, perhaps. And what if guilty? Is this the only cure? Merciful God. Each poor and natural outlet shriveled up by ignorance and parching poverty. His energies roll back upon his heart and stagnate and corrupt till change to poison. They break out on him like a loathsome plague spot. Then we call in our pampered mountebanks, and this is their best cure. Uncomforted and friendless solitude, groaning and tears, and savage faces at the clanking hour, seen through the steams and vapour of his dungeon, by the lamped dismal twilight. So he lies circled with evil, till his very soul unmoulds its essence, hopelessly deformed by sights of ever more deformity. With other ministrations thou, O nature, healest thy wandering and distempered child. Thou pourest on him thy soft influences, thy sunny hues, fair forms and breathing sweets, thy melodies of woods and winds and waters, till he relents, and can no more endure to be a jarring and a dissonant thing amid this general dance and minstrelsy. But bursting into tears, whence back his way, his angry spirit healed and harmonized by the benignant touch of love and beauty.